when we thought about your CAN chart, your risk assessment, we can now think about some tools that will help you to try and do that. Obviously, there are a number of tools online that you can use, and most of them are free. As with a lot of free tools, they come with the idea that you potentially will get addicted to that tool and you really get excited about it and will start using it on a regular basis. But anyway, so there are some really good tools for personal branding online that are really worth your time to try out and actually experiment to use. One of those tools is Brand Yourself. Essentially, this tool gives you an option to try and link up your existing profile, say it's Twitter, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, and this tool will help you to scan the profiles and it will try and estimate of how good your profile comes across online. It will also give you a capture of the first page of uh, Google search results. Okay, we are looking at Google just as the primary audience here, but if you are thinking about China, Russia, or other search engines, obviously there might be some other tools that you might find that will help you here. Obviously in France, it is still useful to try and make sure that you capture at least the first page of Google search results for the brand name that is your name. So brand yourself is certainly worth your time to try and experiment, and what it also does, it will give you a score this score is yet another quantifier of how good your personal brand is currently. But what is useful for you to try and st stamp it or make a photograph of that. And then hopefully, once you finish your project, you are able to see the progress that you achieved. So this score can be compared with the score that you are going to take later on, uh, once you actually completed the activities that you're planning to do. The other tool that is actually quite useful, it is predominantly used, again, for those LinkedIn users, is that most of the networks that you'll be using, such as LinkedIn, will also give you a score and it will provide you with some practical tips on how you can optimize your brand online there. So LinkedIn gives you a very basic uh, experiment, are so you all-star or you're a beginner or you're intermediate, in terms of how you're coming across on your LinkedIn profile. This is a basic rating that just gives you a feel of the kind of things that you can complete on LinkedIn. So, for example, have you completed your work experience? So you're currently studying at Catch Business School. Have you added that qualification to your online profile? Have you had any endorsements from some of your tutors, some of the work experiences from your stages, from your uh, things that you've done? Have you uh, got endorsements for your skills? And have you thought about the importance of those skills in relation to the keywords that we did earlier when we did the uh, research and evaluation of the skills that are actually needed for your desired job? So all these things can also be evaluated on LinkedIn. Obviously, these are two network-specific specific, uh, tools that we are looking at here, but they are really helping you to automate your personal branding online process and give you a very good opportunity to take screenshots now so it's really useful for you to try and take that screenshot and actually integrate it into your report so that you can then see how far you have traveled from the point of departure now to the point where you want to be at the end of this course. So the last but not least is Trello. So this is again some tool that you might want to use uh, when you're working as a team. It's a great opportunity for you to think of your shopping list, of your gun chart, so you can translate that gun chart into a visual, into an electronic list that you can then cross off and ultimately, yet again, another evidence for you to show the progress that you have done with this particular course. So the brilliant thing is that you can always have that information with you. So if you were to ever advise somebody to do personal branding online, or if you were to try and help somebody to do a similar project, it's something that you can actually revisit and actually uh, see what kind of things were necessary to be done here. Last but not least, obviously some very basic tools is pen and paper. It still works and it is still a really useful thing to do, but uh, it might be quite difficult for you to keep track of uh, when beyond the lifeline of this course. So think about some of these tools as investment in time and effort that you can take with you and something that you can produce and get a report on a regular basis. Both LinkedIn 
and uh, brand yourself give you a, a regular report that you can actually see and then actually brand yourself will email you whether you want it obviously as a notification setting on a uh, regular basis an update of how your personal brand comes across uh, and obviously how you're perceived there.